Lansdowne, Pennsylvania, on our line for Republicans. Good morning, and welcome to the Washington Journal. Hey, good morning. Uh, I just have two quick points here. Uh, one, I feel that there are equal rights when it comes to marriage because a gay man has the same right to marry a woman that a straight man has. And uh, two, personally, I do support gay marriage, but only when both chicks are hot. Thank you. Let's move on to uh, Hubberstown. Hello. When you're able to hear us, if not, we'll put you on hold. We'll come try to come back to you in just a minute. They lost me. All right. Jed is calling from Virginia. Which city is that in Virginia, Jed? Uh, Anselwoman. All right. Thomas in Houston, Texas. Republican line, thanks for holding. You're on with Michael Gordon of the New York Times. Penis, big penis, penises everywhere. All right. We're going to move on to Mike. Oh, um, hello. I feel Again. as though um, the uh, women should be... Uh, at home and uh, making sandwiches and pushing out babies and having their period. And All right. Well. Toronto, Ontario, you're next up with the ambassador. Hello. Yes, good morning, Mr. Jawad. My question is, do you have a big penis? Man, I can't believe that guy got back on. Philadelphia, go ahead. Boy, the calls are really fired up this morning. Um, I just want to say I have a really big penis. I can suck my... Let's go next. It, you know, it's really very unnecessary. Next You're on the air. Good morning. We're doing open phones. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Spokane, Washington. Hello. Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Iqbal Ban Nutsak. Moving on to Baltimore to our American Muslims line. Welcome. I hope this doesn't bother you, but I've been imagining what you look like naked. <laughs> hey, oh. I have to say, in regards to all these people that are so anti-American, you know, in protest, you know, they want to, they're protesting all over Europe against us. You know, all I have to say to them is that, you know, I'm an American, and I can suck my own cock. Next to Camden, New Jersey, on the Republican line, what do you think about all this? Good morning, Brian, and uh, thank you for C-SPAN. Welcome. When did you lose your virginity? <laughs> what do you mean? How old were you? I'm not about to answer that question. When you lost your virginity. When did you get fucked? <laughs> hey, thanks. Nice to hear from you. Hi, good morning. Well, my question is, since we're, we, we're spending all this money, where are we getting the money from? And my second question is, if I can shit in your mouth. I um, apologize for that, Congressman. Uh, don't take that kind of language here on the Washington Journal. Hello, my mayor? Yes. Good morning, caller. I can't help but see that I thought I saw this coming. Judging from Putin's reaction, he uh, recently stashed missiles in Cuba. My, my grandfather, I remember him watching this, He's a, he is a Ukrainian, and uh, he made a comment to me, which was... Okay, we're going to go... Oh, you know, it's just because of laws like this. Uh, well, for many different reasons. I, I'm completely against Barack Obama at this point. I voted for him, and it's because of acts like this that I will not be voting for him in the future. And which is totally amazing, is watching the program... So far since it started this morning, it's just the five minutes I've been watching it. I just shot a load. It's amazing. Okay, we'll move on. Long Dong Silver. He read it that three times before he finally bought it. He never read it. A video about woman to woman. Let's take our first call of the morning from California, Republican line. Joe Biden, should he run for president? Jed is on the line. Good morning. Yes, um, I feel as though Obama is not doing a good enough job, you know, that dirty socialist motherfucking piece of shit. This is Jed, Democrat. Hi, Jed, you're on the air. Go ahead. Jed, are you with us? I like it. All right, let's move on to Darlene. And... The schools were underfunded. The, the teachers were underpaid because my, my father was a teacher, so I experienced that. And I have a, a great issue with this. I, I have a, a big issue with this. I have a big understanding of this. I also have a very big cock. That's the last call we'll take on the... A few more calls. Uh, Portland, Oregon, you are next. Hello. Thank you for taking my call. <laughs> Hey, Diana, do, you, do you think there hasn't been enough media attention on this? Uh, obviously, it's uh, leading a lot of the papers this morning after that vote yesterday. So, this, um. <laughs> Bob in D.C., a Republican. Bob, what did you think of last night's forum? I, um, I'm a big uh, supporter of Donald Trump because he's uh, outside of the uh, Washington bureaucrat bureaucracy and um, 
I'm also a huge fan of the squirrel that died on his head. All right, we're going to go on, move on from there. Hi, uh, my favorite is usnews.com, but also the one I forgot to mention is uh, womenwithhorses.com. That's also a good one. Um, Thanks for the call. We appreciate it. I mean, I'm, like, really broke right now about to file bankruptcy. I, you know, I'm trying to get a penile implant. I need to enlarge my... Uh, package to pick up the chicks these days. No, Oxford, no. North Carolina is up next. Good morning. Yes, um, y'all have been talking about climate change and all kinds of other stuff, but um, the most pressing question for me is um, what about the squirrel that died on... All right, we'll go on to Art in Clearwater, Kansas. Morning. My name is... Okay, I'm white. I'm socialist. I don't like black Jews, Marxists. I am racist, I have no religion, and your Hitler was absolutely correct to oh, say, what is that? Hi, good morning. Morning. Um, Mr. Murphy, I was just wondering if you feel that there's a resemblance. Caller, I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about. Uh, do you feel that there's a resemblance between your pubes and the hair on your head? Is cost a concern? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I have a small cock, I, I have a tiny penis. I want you to start living as a gay woman. I was watching this last night, and while CNN and Fox both had placed the casualties around the low hundreds, the independent media journalists who were actually on the ground in this battlefield had to... Okay. As far as somebody called in and said we had a lot of Mexicans in this country at one time, and now we, we should, uh, I think we should keep the illegals and send the blacks back to Africa where you all belong. Thank you. Coming up on the Washington Journal... Long Island, New York is on our yes line. Hey, how you doing this morning? Fine, go ahead. Yeah, I'm all for democracy. You know, I think, like, you know, we got these celebrities running around like, you know, Sheryl Crow and Kim Basinger, Sue Sarandon, Rob Rosinski. They should all be bukkake, you know, sprayed down with my sperm. All the Los Angeles. The other thing I'd like to say is that there's a rumor going around online, you're a fucking home. All right, apologize. I do not think that this is a good idea because it will only cause further tension between nations of the world. And I feel, as what they say, nobody will do this to Israel. And do you believe that Howard Stern has a small piece? Let's go to Pequay, Pennsylvania.